All right, what's good YouTube? It's Shin, and today I'm coming to you from downtown at the Fremont Hotel where they opened a brand new food hall. Now in this video, I'm gonna be trying something from every location and giving my honest thoughts. I'm really excited to check this all out. Let's head on inside. Alrighty, you guys, so here we are seated at the food hall at the Fremont Hotel. I actually really like the vibe in here. It's really nice and vibrant. I like the tall ceilings and the super well-lit spaces. It's modern, it's inviting, it's a pretty cool place. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and start off with some breakfast. I'm gonna head to Dunkin' Donuts first. Now, America runs on Dunkin'. Apparently, Las Vegas runs on Dunkin' as well. Now, I went ahead and got an apple fritter today. Typically, apple fritters or maple bars are my go-tos. Looks like a pretty standard apple fritter to me. Let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Actually, a very good apple fritter. Uh, nice levels of cinnamon and sugar here. I have no complaints. It's a Dunkin' Donut apple fritter. All right, a pretty good start with that donut. Let's go in and try Craft Kitchen next. Now, Craft Kitchen looks to be an upscale American breakfast and lunch joint. They've got some uh, pretty cool looking things on the menu like this creme brulee French toast and an ube bread pudding that caught our eye as well in the displays. Let's give these a try. All right, first off, a bite of this ube bread pudding. Loving this nice deep purple color. Comes with a little bit of this coconut icing as well. Looks pretty good, let's give it a taste. <laughs> oh man, that was very good. Yeah, the coconut icing and the coconut flakes on top give a really great flavor. The bread pudding itself is really soft and moist, and the ube is definitely more of a hint. It's not super pronounced, but it really all very delicious. A really nice bread pudding here. All right, next up, let's go ahead and try this creme brulee French toast. You're gonna go and get some maple syrup on here. Nice layer of powdered sugar on top. You can actually see that creme brulee custard in the center between these two slices. Smells fantastic. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Mm. You know, that's very tasty. I'll say the French toast portion itself is decent. It's got a nice thickness to it, but it's really the custard that's the main star of the show. They did do a nice brulee job on that custard. You do get that nice candied layer. I do wish that the seasonings for the French toast were a little bit more robust. I want a little more cinnamon, a little more sugar. Really all the flavor is coming from that cream and custard. And the French toast just kind of seems to be a vessel. Overall, not bad, but I think from Kraft Kitchen, it's that ube bread pudding that blew me away. Uh, okay, so pretty good with the breakfast items so far. We're gonna go ahead and wrap that up and get some chicken strips next to Huey Magoo's. All right guys, so here we are now with five strip meal from Huey Magoo's. Now Huey Magoo's, to my understanding, is an East Coast chain, and I believe this is one of their more uh, westward expansions. I like the look of the chicken strips, very Raising Cane's-esque, looking like a really light batter here. And I do definitely love the color. You can see a little bit of black pepper there as well. Let's go ahead and give the chicken strip a try. Yeah, that's a nice and juicy tender right there. It's a very straightforward, clean chicken flavor here, which I really appreciate. The batter is lightly seasoned, so you really get to appreciate a lot of the flavors of the chicken. They advertise that they only use the tenders on the chicken, so that's kind of cool. But in general, I'd say a pretty decent chicken strip. It's good, it's not crazy good. Now I did ask for a little bit of the sweet heat sauce. Give this a little dip. Let's give that a try. Yeah, I actually really like that sweet heat sauce. Just the right amount of spice doesn't really take over the rest of the flavors. And a very nice sweetness to it. Yeah, a good sweet heat sauce. Let's go and try their crinkle cut french fry next. Definitely a big fan of crinkle cut fries. They are my favorite cut. And it looks pretty good, feels pretty good. Let's see if it tastes pretty good. You know, unfortunately, I'd say that it's actually one of the more disappointing fries I've had in a while. The center is actually not all the way cooked through, so there's a little bit of a hard potato feel in the center. The salt levels are a little low, it's a little bland. I think the fry game could use a little bit of a step up over at Huey Magoo's. All right, and lastly, let's go and try a bite of the Texas toast. I mean, you can see the butter glistening in the light. This thing is probably gonna taste pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's buttery white toast. It's pretty good. All right, I say a decent hit with the chicken. Unfortunately, the fries were not that great. We're gonna go ahead and finish this up. And I think we're gonna go play some games, come back in a couple of hours, and we'll try the other three restaurants. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, so we're back after hanging out this afternoon. Now, unfortunately, the tables weren't too hot, but we did have a good time going up and down downtown. Now, the first place we're gonna check out today is gonna be Steak and Shake. Now, this is a chain hamburger restaurant that's found a location here at the Fremont Food Hall. Got a standard cheeseburger combo here, clocking it at $9.99. Let's go ahead and give this a try. All right, first up, we'll go and take a bite of the steak burger. Now, this is a number one, a double steak burger with these crispy smash patties along with onions and pickles. Looks pretty good, let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a pretty decent hamburger. I really like the flavor of the smash patties. They've been well seasoned and they got a really great crisp on it. The onions definitely provide a little bit of bite. The ketchup gives a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of tang from those pickles. Overall, very classic standard cheeseburger here. No real complaints. All right, next up, we'll go and try the French fries. Two string style fries here, very thin. They feel pretty crispy. Let's go and give them a try. They've got a nice texture to them, decent salt flavor. I think there might be a bit of a sweetness to the oil that they use. It has a very distinct flavor. But that said, no super complaints about the fries. They're pretty standard. Honestly, no serious complaints about the steak and shake combo. For $9.99, we've got a pretty decent cheeseburger meal here at the food hall. Now that was pretty good. I'm gonna check out Tomo noodles next. Check out some ramen. I'll be right back. Alrighty, and we got some food from Tomo Noodles. Tomo Noodles is an Asian restaurant that serves both ramen as well as poke nachos and Hawaiian favorites. I went ahead and got an order of their poke nachos along with an order of tonkatsu ramen, and this is looking pretty good. Let's go and give them a try. First up, let's go and try a bite of the poke nachos. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the tuna has a bit of a funky color to it. I wish it was a little more vibrant, but the sauce has a great color, and these wonton chips are feeling amazing. Let's go and give this a taste. No, that's actually a pretty nice flavor. The wonton strips really have a great crispiness. I appreciate that a lot. They're not also super oily, which is really great. Now the tuna itself, unfortunately, does lack a bit of flavor, but this chipotle aioli sauce is really, really tasty. The green onion gives a little bit of bite and that sesame is adding a little bit of nuttiness. Overall, not a bad poke nacho. If that fish was just a little bit fresher, this would be really good. All right, and next up, let's go ahead and try this tonkatsu ramen. The broth color is perfect. It looks really porky. And the shashu pork here is looking really good. Let's go and give it a taste. Mm. You know, that's actually pretty solid ramen. The noodles are cooked al dente. They've got a nice firmness to it. The broth also has a really great depth of flavor. You really get the garlic and the pork hits. The shashu pork is nice and fatty, has a great char on it as well. Yeah, overall, I'd say this is a pretty solid bowl of ramen. I'm very pleasantly surprised. All right, guys, pretty good food at Homo Noodles so far. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this up and one spot left to check out, and that's Roly Roly. I'll see you in a little bit. Alrighty, you guys, and we got our food from Roly Roly. Now, this is a rotisserie concept restaurant that focuses on chicken and pork. We went ahead and got the porchetta sandwich today. It looks really excellent. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mm. All right, wow, that sandwich is pretty tasty. The chabrata bread has had a nice amount of time developed, giving it those airy pockets, but it still has a great chew to it. The pork is so incredibly tender and fatty. In general, the sandwich is very rich. And then you have this onion marmalade that's giving you a hint of sweetness with those caramelized onions. You get a nice peppery hint from the arugula in here. And all together, this actually makes for a very delicious sandwich bite. All right, you guys, and that does it for my review of the food hall here at the Fremont Hotel. 
Now, I think the best thing that I actually had today was that porchetta sandwich. I'm glad I saved it for last. It was very flavorful. I wouldn't say any of the food offerings here offended me. Honestly, they were all pretty damn good. I think as food halls become more popular over buffets here in Las Vegas, this is a pretty sweet addition to that list. Now, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I would love for more people to see it. And if you enjoy content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of great stuff coming your way. And that's all for this one. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed Vegas with me. Shin, bye.